There are many tips and ways to stay healthy. From the television to magazine advertisements there are several reminders to tell us how to stay healthy. However, there is an even easier tip to constantly remind us how to stay healthy. Though it would not completely answer and deliver to all the health issues we may have, we could apply this as a paradigm of simple measures. An equation for staying healthy could be as easy to remember as 1, plus 2, plus 3, equals 6. 1. We have to start an equation for staying healthy with the first thing to remember, our life. We only have one body to take care of, so it should not be that hard to monitor and maintain. Furthermore, we only have one mind to think for ourselves. We cannot depend on others to tell us how to stay healthy or be healthy. We have to look for the appropriate information ourselves and apply those learnings by ourselves as well. Another thing about one is that we only have one shot in this life to do this. Of course we may be able to rectify certain health practices when we stumble, but how sure are we that we would still have that second chance of living a normal life if the damage has already been done? Therefore, the one that is pertained to in this equation is ourself. We only have one to boot and therefore we should focus on this. Plus two. Two in this context means that there are only two paths that we can choose, the right and the wrong path. The same analogy goes to a beneficial or a destructive outcome of our bodies. In whatever life choice that we take every single time, we are bringing the self either closer to wellness or sickness. Think of it as this way, we are the flag tied at the center of a rope in a tug of war. One end leads to sickness and eventually death, the other to wellness and eventually longevity. Each moment that we do something, each food choice that we make, or even each day that we do our lifestyle routines, we have to think to what side are we going then? Plus 3. 3 is relatively simple, as it would pertain to three parts of the day, morning, afternoon, and evening. In relation to this, a person has to plan out the activities in their appropriate time. There are activities that are suitable in the morning, or maybe until the afternoon, and there are also some personal activities that are suitable for the evening. Any unplanned schedule and adherence therefore would result to added stress, and therefore be detrimental to the self. Examples of activities that are good in the morning are exercise, early morning sunshine, a time to reflect and plan other activities for the rest of the day, and breakfast. As for the afternoon, continued work from the morning, a little bit of recreation perhaps, and an eagerness to get home and rest. Evenings are good for a cool down walk in the neighborhood, spend time with the family, watch a little television, and definitely sleep. The exact activities that are placed into these three different times throughout the day differ from each person's career and work schedule. Nevertheless, it is always safe to assume one of these times as resting and sleeping schedule. Equals 6. 6 pertains to the number of meals that one has to eat every day. Recent studies have shown that the average daily caloric requirement needed per day is best digested and assimilated if they were distributed into 6 small meals instead of 3 large ones as considered before. This allows the body to digest the food at a constant rate without oversupplying and causing the body to store excess nutrients into fat. The 1, plus 2, plus 3, equals 6 paradigm is an equation for staying healthy which can be applied to almost anyone, even those who are recuperating from sickness, and those who haven't experienced any major illness yet.